that yellow cylinder, Let or we'll screw that motherfucker up. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations. Down, Schnitzel, bad dog. Uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis. It's developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Ah, honey, what's for dinner? Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. This is... Crazy. We put a lot of effort into these new plant species. This will be my way of saying goodbye to them. I won't hold it against you if you refuse, but... They'll probably cremate you. There are way too many dead bodies around here. Cremate me? I never thought of that. What a waste. I could have brought new life into the world. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Try to stay alive. This can't be happening. It's like a bad trip. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed.
you have here. Schnetzel, be you there, boy? Okay, great. Anyway, entry number three, May 10th. The hemlock has grown to an unprecedented size and continues to grow on a daily basis. Its behavior is becoming aggressive. Its stems have become vine-like growths, and I can fully confirm that the plants have developed something akin to vision and the ability to track its own food. Hmm. Who's that damn dog? Schnitzel! Schnitzel, here, boy! Now at 10%. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a wind nearby. He won't find us here. We should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. The only light that went out was yours, buddy. For good. So I'm dead? I have to admit, the thought had crossed my mind. You weren't wrong. See ya. Hey, Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks.
need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying. That guy with the pump, did he quit or something? Pesticide level decreased. Now at 2%. We're all going to die! Okay with me. You first. Out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. Please select the desired procedure.
to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. Parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy. The pests have been eliminated and the birch tree has returned to normal. The PEG 4 birch tree vegetative power generator is now. is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. 
We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's so, what will it be, Major? Chelas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me.